Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring, and before you say anything, I know this isn't the same format as the rest of the series. Don't worry, that's not changing. I'll be posting the next regular episode soon. But I decided going into the game that boss fights would have their own episode, and this is the first one. I beat Margit the Fell! Hooray for French toast! That was back on March 21st, by the by. Now, full disclosure, the fight was kind of bullshit, all right? Especially how I won, <laughs> but we'll get to that. I just want to say some stuff before I show it, and if you don't want to hear it, you can skip straight to the fight. I'll have the chapter set. It's fine. First of all, I didn't capture the cutscene leading into it. I wasn't planning on doing much in the game that day, so I wasn't recording, and I didn't realize I was at Castle Stormvale until the cutscene started. I hit record as fast as I could and planned to show you whatever I caught, but going through the footage, I don't see the cutscene anywhere. I also don't see my first few attempts at killing Margit, so I might have deleted the clips by accident, who knows? Either way, I'll find the cutscene on some random channel and link to it. Just pretend the character in it is me. Second of all, since I don't have all the clips, I want to tell you what happened before the winning fight. Like I said, I didn't know what I was walking into, so when the fight started, I was like, well, guess I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I might as well give it my best shot, see what I can learn from it. So I immediately went into my inventory and used any item I saw that would give me a boost. But all I had was something to increase my attack power and magic resistance. Besides that, I used the flask of wondrous physics and equipped the talisman that increases the damage of the final swing in a combo or whatever it was. Now, whether you believe this or not, I got Margit's health down a little more than half in that first fight. I don't know how, <laughs> but if not for that, I wouldn't have even bothered trying to fight him again. I expected to be absolutely obliterated, considering I spent 99% of my time up to that point exploring instead of fighting and leveling up. And you know I never played a Souls game before, so if bosses have certain traits that it helps to know, I'm not privy to them. But I was emboldened by how well the first fight went, friends, so I committed to trying to beat him. My next two or three attempts were much worse because I didn't have any more of the items I used the first time, so I whipped out the Wandering Nobles, and the next few fights went better, I still felt like I needed more help to get Margaret's health down that last bit though, so I summoned the sorcerer Roger. He's by the entrance, so I assume anyone can use him. But let it be known that I call smoked baloney on some of my losses because Margaret would rush to the very edge of the map as soon as the fight started, and I'd lose by rolling off because I hit him or because he hit me. Either way, I lost 19 times total in the footage that I still have, and in the footage that's missing, I think I lost 10 times with maybe maybe half of those being from falling out of bounds. So let's just say it took 25 to 30 attempts to beat him, keeping in mind that it would have been far less if I had more of the items I used before. I don't know what the attack power thing was that I took, but I was taking chunks out of him in that first fight, okay? Our determined toast, as weak as she was, was doing some damage. Anywho, that's really all I wanted to say, you know, just give you some backstory on how the fight was going. So without further ado, I present to you my winning fight from start to finish. There's no commentary since I didn't feel like setting up my mic for a boss battle I might not have even won. And we'll talk about how I won after you see it.
Yeah, so that was it. <laughs> and uh, anticlimactic isn't the word. I was totally prepared to fight him again after I fell off, but it said I won, so you know what? I'll take it. Hopefully my next big boss fight will be cleaner than that, but I'm still proud of myself. Anyway, that's it for this battle sode. And like I said, regular episodes will resume probably next week. And if you want to check them out, you know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Support me on Patreon at the $1 tier or higher. And I'll be back very soon with more Elden Ring.